Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji and welcome to Kababayan Today. Today, we are talking to a professional rock and roller behind the lens, a professional photographer. Nandito ang ating kababayan na si Irvin Rivera. Hi, Irvin! Hello, G. Kumusta? Okay naman! Nakakatuwa naman yung uh, professional rock and roller behind the lens, <laughs> di ba? Uh, so, pag-usapan natin, taga saan ka sa Pilipinas? Uh, Quezon City. So, lumaki ka sa Quezon lumaki City? Lumaki sa Quezon City, pero pinanganak ako sa Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija. Taga mm. saan yung mga magulang mo? Magkihiwalay, North and South. Okay. Tatay ko, Nueva Ecija. Nanay ko, Lucena. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, pag-usapan natin, kailan ka pumunta dito sa Amerika? Siguro mga seven years ago. Okay. And how has it been since lumaki ka sa Pilipinas tapos nandi, alam naman natin dito sa Amerika, <laughs> ibang-iba, di ba? Na culture shock ka ba? Medyo, yeah. Iba eh. I mean, nung pumunta ako dito, trabaho talaga muna. Wala akong, since nagtapos ako sa atin. Mm -hmm. So, when I got here, ano talaga? Trabaho, bahay, trabaho, bahay. So, I, wala akong kilala. Mm -hmm. And then, ginagawa ko yung, and then I started yung ano. Dito ko na rin binili yung camera ko kasi. Okay, so yeah. this is where you really became a photographer. Mm -hmm. What is it about taking photographs that you love? Yung ano eh, telling stories in a different way. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, gumraduate ako with a writing degree, so I should be like writing more stories and stuff. Tapos naisip ko, um, in sa photography, mas makapag express ako ng art in a different angle. Okay, mas so so artist ka because you you know uh, photographers are artists, right? Um, how do your parents feel na eto yung eto yung career path mong pinili ang pagiging isang photographer nung nung una <laughs> hindi supportive ang pamilya oh, syempre oh, kasi because gusto nila they want the best for us right mm -hmm. they want the best for you gusto nila either maging you know yung profession na talagang uh, su very successful in the in the healthcare industry nanay ko nurse oh ayun so tatay ko sundalo so okay. syempre either of those fields oo oh, oh. but Siguro rebel lang ako. <laughs> you ko, followed your heart and your passion. Yes, I go, I'm not gonna be a nurse. I love nurses. Pero, I don't know, I just love the art. Sabi ko, gusto ko na something where I could express the art, I mm -hmm. guess. And then either with writing, with photography or whatever. And then, there's just something sa pagkuha ng picture. You capture the moment and you, for somehow, like for me, I want to make it look timeless. Na mm -hmm. makarelate yung hindi na makarelate yung mata. I want people to feel something. Well, you have become very successful. You're shooting a lot of campaigns. Thank your you. photographs are beautiful. I've taken a look at your website. Congratulations. Thank you. So, bilang isang Filipino dito sa America, how have you? What can you say about the industry of? Um, you know, uh, the industry as a photographer, nahirapan ka ba bilang isang Pilipino? Um, mas may opportunity dito eh, actually. Kasi I started with nothing, basically. And I'm, I started with using whatever resources that I have. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga, parang, uh, I shoot, I mean, manuwala kami sa hindi, maraming tao, they're like, what do you do your shoot? Do you rent studios? Ang mahal ng studios. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I will set up sa kitchen, sa living room, or anywhere that, I mean, if you have a backdrop, it doesn't matter. So you Kahit use saan. any space as your canvas mm -hmm. to create. And then, I mean, do na papaso yung lighting mo, composition and everything, but it doesn't matter kung nasang space ka. And it helped. And then, of course, researching kung saan ako pwede ma-publish, ano kailangan kong gawin, continuous learning, I guess. Mm -mm. Pero I could say na mas may opportunity here. Yan. As a Pilipino, talagang napaka-resourceful mo, di ba? Yan ang trait ng isang Pilipino. We are very resourceful and we make a way to, to, to be able to do what we love to do. That's true. Kahit nag-work ako noon, I have to shoot at night or during weekends. I just have to. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it's very... Uh, pag nakakarinig ako ng mga story ang katulad mo, nakakatuwa kasi bilang isang kababayan, <laughs> Wow, di ba? Talagang pinursigi mo yung gusto mo sa buhay. Tapos, you're achieving it right now. But what's really fascinating, and the reason I wanted you to be on this show is, you've used your talents not just for your purpose, but for a bigger purpose. Okay? Pagbalik natin dito sa Kababayan Today, pag-uusapan natin, 
Portrait for Hope. That's what it's called, right? Portraits of Hope. Portraits of Hope. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we go to break, Portraits of Hope is basically a project that you're putting together to raise funds for someone in need. Yes. All right. Uh, alamin natin yung storya ni Irvin Rivera. Pagbalik natin dito sa Kababayan Today. Don't go away.